What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and today's video girl we're talking about some of my favorite, some of the stuff I love, some of the stuff I've been using. So I'm going to share it with you. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. You want it. You want to buy it too. Video is totally not sponsored girl. I bought this stuff with my money. Oh and my friend of mine Amira. She has a website which sells makeup faces by Amira. She gave me this lipstick right and I've been talking about it. I know a lot of y'all wanted to get this purple lipstick that she had gave me. Not sponsored. But if you like this lipstick I'll put her link down below to the website. Also a subscriber sent me this girl. Check it out. It is a little box. It's called Rosie Rouge Beauty Girl. And when I first got it I was like what is it? It's like a little box right? So you pull it open, right? And it's like a little holes for your beauty blender. Cause beauty blenders are good. Cause like what? What a beauty blender at Sephora is like 20 bucks, right? So if you're spending that kind of money on a beauty blender, I thought it was pretty cool that you would have a beauty blender holder. And so thank you so much for sending me this. And I've had this literally for like a month or two and it's dirty cause I've been using it girl. Again, not sponsored, but thank you for sending it to me. And I'll put the link down below in case any of you want a beauty blender holder. Okay, so this is gonna be a mix of like skincare stuff and also makeup, okay? So I'm gonna start with some skincare stuff. So I literally have been using this one. It's like really cheap. It's by Equate Girl. You get out the drugstore, Walmart, Target, whatever. Basically, it's really cool. It's like a two-in-one cleanser. So what you do is you put water in your hand, and you get like a pump, put it in there, you put it all over your face, and it does get rid of the makeup. However, I did notice that it doesn't like deep clean especially me because I wear a lot so if you wear like light makeup I'm pretty sure this will be perfect for you but for me this kind of gets rid of that first layer so I, I kind of I kind of like it and then I also I'm using that Clinique take the day off beauty balm which I feel like a, which I feel like is a really cool makeup trend that women are doing is basically if you don't know what I'm talking if you don't know I'm gonna tell you it's like you know traditionally you would take your makeup off with like soap and water or like a cleanser like that or you get your makeup wipes and you wipe it off, right? But the new trend is it's like this bomb, it's like the jelly and you put this jelly all over your face and it just dissolves the makeup and then you wash it away. So it's so much easier than a wipe, you know what I'm saying? You get more product. So the Clinique Take the Day Off, I'm not gonna include it in this video because it's not like a drugstore product because that's actually at Sephora, but girl, elf girl, you can get this Target, Walmart, whatever on their website. $10 does the same thing. And actually, so many people were talking about this and they said how good it was. So I haven't tried it. I'm gonna actually use it today for the first time to take my makeup off. So, but I already know it's a good product because so many people have said it that it because so many people said it was. People that I like, like people that I look up to, were like, yeah, it's a good product. So here it is. It's like a little jelly. It has a little bit of a smell to it, but not really. And basically, yeah, so it does the same thing. So it's kind of like a dupe to that Clinique Take the Day Off, and I really can't wait to try this. So I'm not going to say it's like the best product yet because I personally haven't tried it, but some of the people that I watched on YouTube said that it was a really good product. I just can't wait to try it myself. I'm going to try it today, actually. But I wanted to put this in this video because I'm pretty sure it is a good product, but I really want y'all to try it. Like, gone are the days of the makeup wipes, girl. Or the soap and water or the cleansers, try a bomb, girl. The Clinique Take the Day Off is pretty good. And then I'm betting on this one. But we'll see, girl. We'll see. Okay, so two things I really do like also are gonna be the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the I use this as my as my like a full face, and I use this as like concealer. And I still work because they do have a concealer, like a little small concealer. But girl, I got this one with like the same color. So I usually just put this under the eye here. But I really do like these, especially because I feel personally that I feel personally like if you like MAC makeup and you really can't afford it at the time i think these are a really good alternative to mac until you're able to get it but i do like them and i actually do use these so like it's and i'm not gonna lie to you like i really don't have drugstore foundation but these are the only ones that i use from the drugstore that are foundation because because actually the foundation that i do use is gonna be mac and i mix it with the gucci one but if i didn't have it these are the ones that i use like especially like if i'm just gonna like go somewhere and i don't want to like use the good stuff but i still want to have a little bit of coverage i just use those all right so my tried and true i've said this over and over and over again so many videos this is going to be one of my favorite items girl is the wet and wild contour palette there's two of them okay and they're like what three dollars there's two of them so you can see this one is a lot lighter and this one's like more pale you can kind of pick it up a little bit there you see that so i use this one 
for here and then I use this one for here and then sometimes and since it's so cheap I went and picked up the other one so if you're like if you want a little, a little bit of a less of a bronzer then you can go ahead and put that on but this is way better than the Marc Jacobs highlight and contour palette which is like what $50 it's like $3 girl it's so cheap I got two and like I have literally like six of these all over this room because I use them so much like uh, girl if I had it my way I have one in the car one in the room, one in the living room, one in the restroom. So you always have these around there. I mean, they're so cheap. I love them so much. And they're so durable. Like, they don't break. You know how sometimes you get, like, some drugstore makeup and, like, the hinge will break? It, this does not do that. So I just love it so much. And I'm really, like, aggressive with my makeup. And it stands the test of time. And if you don't know how to do it, just a little picture in the back teach you how to do it. All right, so here's the Revlon one. I use this one, too. I usually put it right here in the corner of my eyes. But lately, I've been using the BH Cosmetics Glitter for here, but I really do like this one. So if you're looking for like glitter, I'll definitely try this one out. There are other colors, but I think this formula in the gold is the best out of all those other formulas. So definitely try this one. I love it so much. Okay, 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 okay. So back to skincare, girl. I've been using this Garnier Skin Active right here. And I don't know how to pronounce this word. It's like macellar, molecular, I don't know, something like that. But yeah, it takes the makeup off. So what I do is like, girl, I know I'm not supposed to, but I put a whole bunch in my hand. I just smack it all over my face. Then I get me like a really good cotton swab and like I just get it off that way too. So like there's so many ways to take your makeup, but I'm using this one. You can see it's like halfway done. But I recently discovered like this trend of like cotton pads. Okay, so you already know like you can get you like a cotton pad from like your drugstore or whatever. And sometimes like you wipe and it might leave like some of the little cotton particles might be left over. Well, there's like this whole like kick, right, in the beauty industry of luxury cotton pads. All right, so these are the luxury cotton pads and these are by Chanel, right? So you get, I think you get like 100 or 200 of these for like $20. It comes like in a Chanel box. And it's not bad. I mean, for Chanel, for anything Chanel to be $20, you're like, what? But if you're really into like luxury cotton pads for your face, and really ultra soft and you don't want no streaks, Definitely check out the Chanel one, but the Chanel one, I think they have it like at Macy's, Nordstrom. You can order it online, it's like 20 bucks. If you want to like feel a little fancy, girl, and you're tired of like regular pads, and get the Chanel cotton pads for 20 bucks. All right, so I picked up some brushes also from Target or Walmart, one of those. It's the brand Eco Tools. It came in this little pouch, and it has two brushes in there. There's like a whole set of brushes, but they're scattered across here. I've been using them, but they're actually pretty good pretty good travel brushes you can see they're really small I think these are like bamboo or something but it was like $16 I think it was like well worth it here I think this is the brand logo there you can ooh, check out my manicure nails yeah oh yeah so check them out I think it's a really cool brand like I have really good brushes here but I was like when I went to Vegas I was like girl I just want to travel with some brushes I want like a whole set and I don't want to spend like a whole bunch of money so I got me this little travel set at, and I liked it like it did the trick I love it so much and it wasn't even that much so if I did lose it or because I oh girl I tend to leave everything at the hotel. Like I've lost two chargers, uh, that crown from Chakra. I left it in the hotel, girl. I'm just like, I always lose stuff at hotels. Okay, also I have the Elf Finishing Powder, but doesn't this kind of look like that new Jeffree Star collection that's coming out in the summer? Like the mirror type makeup? Ooh, it looks kind of similar, doesn't it? But yeah, so this is the Finishing Powder by Elf. I really don't use it that much, but when I do use it, it does work. Like right now, my makeup seems like it's like, like right now I can see my face is getting kind of shiny, girl. So I just dab a little bit on here and I just like dab it in there. I like it. It just like makes, it takes the shine away. But I think overall it works. And it wasn't even that, that like, and it wasn't even that expensive at all. So I definitely would try it. And it's like one of those things that you would have in your bag and like you, I rarely ever use it, but when I do use it, it does work. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna include it in this video because I really can't say anything bad about it because it worked. Last but not least, I love, love, love the e.l.f. highlighters, girl. Like seriously, they're amazing. They're super affordable. This is the pink one and this one's called Pink Diamonds, okay? I love it. It is super affordable. It is really easy to use. What I don't like about it is like that dome tends to crack because it's like a dome shape. 
But if you just like put the top part, throw it away if you want, and you have, you're left with a whole bunch of products still, it's really good. But my favorite one of this product is going to be, I think it's like Moonlight Pearls or something like that. There's two of them. There's two of them. There's this one, and then there's like one that's more like my skin tone that's not pinky. That one's really good too. But the both of the e.l.f. highlighters, I would definitely get them, especially like for traveling in the summertime or just to have or you're on a budget. They are amazing. They're very subtle, but you could build on it, and I love it a lot. Here it is. Here's the other one. Here's the other e.l.f. highlighter that I love a lot and it's called Moonlight Pearls. I was right So you got the pink highlighter and you got like this one. I think it's like every day But this is pretty cool too. We feel like having fun, but these two highlighters are sick that name girl I have three of these I have one for the room one for the travel bag And then one I just had like laying around because this case you need it real quick But I really do love it and so that was my favorite drugstore products right now for the elf cleansing box so i gotta try it but i'm pretty sure it's a good one but let me know because i really want to try some more stuff what your favorite stuff at the drugstores that you live by and i'll definitely try it out but thank you for watching smash that like button to let me know if you like these types of videos and i'll see you next video peace